So next thing I know, I'm living over here uh, about five miles away, and I'm standing in the driveway waving to Ashley as she pulls out of the driveway with that U-Haul it behind her car. Going to Hollywood, see ya. Ashley would find her own success on the big screen. Meanwhile, in the cramped quarters of the tour bus, the Judd's success took a back seat. Winona and Naomi were on the verge of all-out war. As they became famous and Winona grew up, there was a great deal of tension there, and they fought openly in interviews in front of you, and it was kind of like, whoa. You know, they described it as being like two cats with their tails tied together thrown over the fence. I'm going to take Winona to see uh, Santa Claus as soon as the show's over with. Now, wait a minute, how old are you now? The harmony they found in music was lost behind the scenes. Naomi was meticulous about details and always on time. Winona was a different story. She just wanted to sing. She would forget to pick up her one outfit before the dry cleaners closed at five. Uh, she did not, oh, she forget meetings. She'd fall asleep in meetings. She just could care less. If I was late on the bus, she'd be sitting in the jump seat in her pajamas. And I, and she, oh, what are you gonna ground me? from doing shows for a week? Come on, Mom. Privacy for Winona was non-existent on the bus. For a young woman trying to assert her independence, Naomi's criticisms were almost too much for her to bear.